it going guys, Sharblox here. Welcome back to another Roblox video here on the channel. Now, I have been getting many questions recently and requests as well, to be fair. Some of you guys really want me to make an updated Roblox UGC faces video. And I'm talking about like the whole UGC avatar faces. I believe UGC creators get away uploading these by calling them masks. I think they call them like masks or heads or something. If they actually called them faces, Roblox would probably delete their item. Nine days ago, I did actually make a video about face stick this is kind of UGC faces, but more customizable. If you guys haven't seen that video, go and watch it though. But yeah, the last proper video I made on Roblox UGC faces was one year ago. And I was basically going over the Roblox UGC face masks. And yeah, they looked pretty decent. I think the only problem with the ones in this video is they had like a black band surrounding them. Yeah, there you go. I remember. But apparently now guys, they're a lot better. So let's go and check out the Roblox UGC faces for 2022. So over on the avatar shop let's check out the first ones. I think these ones here are actually from 2021 but I think in my previous video I didn't record showing these. I can't remember actually even though these ones were made last year they are actually an improvement because as you can see the band has now been changed to a skin color rather than black like how it was in the previous video. So yes they do appear to look a bit more face like rather than a mask. So here are some new ones for 2022 made by Exoro I think. Anyway yeah these ones look pretty decent. They kind of remind me of the Roblox Afro faces. I like the fact they uploaded these in many different skin colors because yes, that was one of the problems with the Roblox UGC faces. They were kind of like restricted to certain skin tones. If you wanted to make like an alien or a zombie and you needed like green skin, well yes, yeah, some of these were pretty hard to create. This guy hasn't exactly made green yet, but still yes, yeah, some of these look pretty good. Here's an example of one of them. So as you can see, these ones do not have a black band or any kind of like skin tone band. It's literally a mask, but it's more like flush with the head. Is that a good way of saying it? And obviously if I wear some accessories, then that's what it looks like. But yeah, for 65 Robux, I think that's very good. Moving on, I found this one as well. And I thought this one was really cool. Somebody has made one of the classic noob faces as a Roblox mask or a UGC face. Let's actually try this on a noob avatar. So there you go, we can see how that looks. Oh, I just realized what this is. It's a mini big head. That's what it is. It's a little big head. That's really cool. I already bought this one for 60 Robux. It does have a band, but it sits in quite nicely. Another UGC creator that has been making loads of UGC faces recently is this person, QTC, I think. So they've been making these like vampire looking, kind of like big eye anime style heads or UGC faces, as I should say. Yeah, there's a few skin tones here. I guess these ones are okay. Let's try one of them. Uh, let me go with one which matches my avatar. Maybe this one. Quite a few of this person's UGC face designs are off sale, but let's have a look. Oh, this one is an improvement on the previous one because this mask is like really really small there's a really thin line there you guys can probably see that but apart from that that really looks like an avatar face actually i like this one that's very very good i'll be sure to link some of these down below if you guys want to buy them so the next type of ugc faces was made by this person joyful joy these ones appear to be faces which only fit the woman head i think let me select the woman bundle and we can try one anyway the cute popular girl white skin tone obviously they come in all different types of skin tones. But this one appears to be quite big. I think if I take my accessory off, yeah, as you can see, it's quite big on my avatar's head. Even the top part here is like sticking out a bit. Also, the band at the back is quite big. I guess it's okay though. If you wear like an accessory like that, as you can see, it does blend in perfectly. So yeah, for 60 Robux, this one is very nice. Yeah, I'm sure many people will like this one. I have had many requests to cover a video on this next face. So yeah, that's basically why I'm doing it right now. Uploaded by the same person, they made this thing, the popular happy aesthetic white skin tone mask. Now the thing is many people are saying this is a ripoff of the playful vampire and I have to admit yeah it kind of is. Let's have a close look at one. So there's 75 robux. They've got the eyes. They've got the fangs, the mouth, the tongue, everything. On my avatar I guess this thing is okay. It's actually a pretty well made UGC face. Maybe the skin tone doesn't match. Maybe I got it wrong on my avatar editor. But apart from that yeah this item is decent. I'll tell you what I'll buy one and we can compare it with the playful vampire. So here we are. I've got the playful vampire selected and if I wear this thing, is it similar? Yeah, it is pretty similar. I think if this happy face had eyebrows, it would literally almost look identical. But to the playful vampire, it's a lot cooler. A lot of people are wondering, are Roblox going to delete this simply because it looks so similar? Honestly, I don't know. Probably not. This UGC face has been available for like three plus days now. So maybe it's okay. I'm really not too sure. We'll just have to see what happens. The playful vampire is 40k Robux 
works though. Yeah, it's not very cheap. So guys, moving on to more UGC faces. We also had these ones. The anime face with color or color changeable eyes. Oh, that's very creative. I see how they've done that. So depending what color your avatar's head is, that is the color the eyes will become. Wow, why did nobody think of that before? Also, the eyes kind of look like Pokeballs. You guys noticed that as well. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I also like the fact they are in all different types of skin colors, even unusual colors like blue and pink. They haven't added a green or anything, but this selection of random colors is a lot better. So if I make my avatar's skin color blue, then I go into body and skin tone. I need to make my head like a different color. Should I try like a red or something? So if I go on head, make that like bright red. Yeah, that might be quite interesting to see. So now if I wear this, my eyes should be red. There you go, like a vampire. And so the rest of my avatar has blue skin. That is really cool. These ones are actually really decent as well because they don't have like a band or like a notch at the top where you can see the difference between the mask and your avatar's head. These ones are very good quality, also a bit cheaper. Yeah, I rate these ones a lot. They look very nice. Up next, we have some random ones made by Ladybugs UGC. So these ones are all different, which is quite nice. Looks like we have all of the normal, regular human skin colors. And yeah, I guess we can try like a random one. I guess that was similar, just the face design is different. Maybe we can try this red eye one. So a bit cheaper than the normal ones, only 45 Robux. But on my avatar, this one is also pretty decent. Yeah, this one is one of the better mask style ones because you can't really notice once you've got accessories on. So yeah, this one definitely very good. A small group made these ones, the pixie makeup faces for 50 Robux. I guess they're pretty much the same as the previous ones I showed you guys. Yeah, they're actually kind of similar. I came across these ones as well. They've kind of got like creepy looking eyes. Don't get me wrong. They do look cool though. Let's try a random one. So made by a username, which I cannot pronounce. Cairo? I don't know. 50 Robux though. Actually, those eyes look really cool. They look like woodland glowing emerald eyes or something. Yeah, just your standard UGC face mask for 2022, I guess. And with accessories, yeah, they look decent. Can't really go wrong with that. Yet another group made some more. What is it? Mockery, I think. Oh, these doll faces look kind of cool. These doll faces look interesting. Let's try one of the anime ones though. Maybe this one with the blue eyes. That looks kind of mad. So they called this one light orange skin. I wouldn't have said orange to be honest, but yeah, it looks kind of decent. This one actually has a band on it. It's still new though. It was only made like a couple of days ago. Yeah, I like the blue eyes. This one also very decent. Someone else made some manga faces. And I think these ones work the same as the other eye color changing ones, where if you change your avatar's head, the eye color also changes. I have to admit, these ones don't really sit in that nice with my head, but let's try the eye color anyway. So if I change my avatar to a noob quickly, we can see. And there you go. They turned yellow. So yeah, not too bad. I like the eye color thing. I just don't think this mask fits too well. Let's try it with accessories. Why not? Oh yeah, there you go. I guess that's okay. I came across these ones as well. I have to admit, I really like these because they look like they would be really good for making YouTube video thumbnails or like Roblox game images or something like that. Especially the lively faces. I think they look kind of cool. So yeah, again, this one works just like a mask really. With accessories as well. Yeah, I really like that. Looks really cartoony and kind of funny. Somebody else called Ocean Orbs made a load of different ones. They've even got like green and stuff. And she actually has one selected on her avatar. So there you go. I guess she was going for like a zombie avatar or something. I'm not really sure. However, UGC faces in green, I think look really cool because it makes them look more like classic Roblox faces. Somebody else called Strap Code made some other ones. These ones are kind of simple. They haven't got mouths or anything, but still they look decent. But honestly, guys, so many UGC creators have been making these UGC faces recently. I'm going to finish the video here. Otherwise, I'm going to be going on for way too long. But yeah, if you guys go over to accessories gone recently updated, maybe select faces as well. You can honestly find so many random looking UGC faces. Some of them are good, some of them are better than others. And yeah, I'll link some of them down below in this video's description. So there we go. That's basically it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I will probably have another UGC face tricks video coming fairly soon where I use actual accessories rather than like random face masks. But yeah, cheers for watching this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.